the last 30 games in Lubbock with Texas Tech and Oklahoma. Each team has won 15 times. Tonight, that tie will be broken as the Lady Raiders face the Sooners of Oklahoma. Have a short memory. You have to just kind of shake it off, brush it off, and go get ready for the next one. And that's how you do it. Just a little high-low game for an easy two. You talked about the two freshmen. Tot is so quick with the basketball. That time it gets away from her, but Van scrapped to get that last rebound. Ajay Murray, the pull-up jumper, buries it. Tech out to an early four-point advantage. A lot of emotions on both sides. A very difficult game, but they were able, they, they turned it over. Defense by Murray. We have seen that throughout this season for Texas Tech. Deep in the corner, the three is buried. Of Marsha Sharp to encourage Sherry Cole, hey, you need to take a look at this player, and it made all the difference for Oklahoma. And then a, a rush to get away from that. Oklahoma very aggressive on the drive. He back kicks it out to Brent Gerlich. Gerlich from 10. Maddie Williams with the explosion. What a pass from Williams. Inside with great baseline position that she missed. Oh, what a pass from Williams to Mandy Simpson for the two. Hattie Faye hit that baseline jumper on the last possession. There she gets an offensive rebound and put back against South Dakota, one of the best three-point shooters you will ever see, and she's got three of them tonight. Oh, nice pass. Faye inside to Gray. That is good defense by Oklahoma, and they've played it the whole time. From the outside, Barry. More patience that time. Vivian Gray yes. was still working down on the block. Robertson dishes it in the corner, and Van knocks down the three. Gray goes into double figures with 10. Pretty good defense, though, by Gregory. Robertson, there's that quick release. And that time, Wade Warren was trying to post up inside, and they got called for the foul holding her. There, Gordon just takes matters into her own hand and dribbles to the baseline. The fact that Gray earned a three-point play, that's as important as Williams going out on, on the bench now with three fouls. Oklahoma can't get the rebound, and here comes Texas Tech. Texas Murray Tech quickly needs, up ahead. Yeah, need a good possession this time, and they get one. Lexi Gordon with the three, and she's in double figures with 11. But is so good at finding Robertson in transition. Well, Tot just dribbles it off her foot into the hands of Gordon. And here comes Gordon bringing the ball down the court this time. Mm -hmm. We've seen a number of different players, and that's what Texas Tech is going to do. On the outside, the bank is open for Alexis Tucker. Oklahoma has missed their last five shots, and they turn it over. Najee Murray comes up with a loose ball. Up ahead, Gray, the easy layup. And it is a 9-0 run in this quarter. Oh, Gray. Oh. A little too unselfish, I think. But Jackson, for Tucker, makes her look good. The bank shot from the top of the key. Yeah. But they got a lot of different people involved, and that's what I said. When you get touches, they're Lexi Gordon beating Texas Tech. And Oklahoma's got to find their mojo back on offense. That's one way how to do it. Just dump it down inside to Gregory. Played for Dan Hughes, Cleveland, and San Antonio in the WNBA. Gabby Gregory with the two. Every time. Jackson works off phase screen. Lexi Gordon got the three. Off a screen hard and really had a lot of room for her shot. Gordon and Gray, 44 of Texas Tech's points, but Krista Gerlich's not going to be happy with Tot. These field goals made tonight have been from beyond the arc. And then Texas Tech's sloppy. Gregory picks off the pass. All right, she's a Beitenheimer picks it off. Here's Gregory for three. Got it, and we are tied. He's trying to stay with Robertson. They have to switch. Tucker picks her up now. Back to Robertson. There's that little hesitation shot. Got it! By Oklahoma. On the drive, Jackson to the hole, and Texas Tech regains the advantage. Gonna get the ball screen for Robertson. Murray goes down, Simpson rolls, blocking foul. This game uh, went to overtime. OU lost 89-84, and we may go to overtime again. OU with a one-point advantage. And the Sooners with an incredible comeback will get their first Big 12 win of the year.